In 1 Timothy 1.10, the Apostle Paul lists several types of evil people. Among them are man-stealers, which is understood to refer to those who kidnap others to sell them into slavery. Of course, this would exclude much of what supplied Roman slavery, prisoners of war. But Paul here does forbid the kidnapping of free persons to be sold as slaves, which means this verse by itself destroys the premises that stood behind American slavery. In spite of clear instructions like this, American slaveholders came up with all kinds of excuses why verses like these didn't apply to their situation. Some time ago, we previewed this series with a quote from scholar Mark Knoll, which explained the difference between pro-slavery exegetes and abolitionist exegetes. American slaveholders then treated the Bible like modern fundy atheists. They tended towards the idea that the plain reading of the text was the most exegetically sound, and they created forced interpretations to excuse away passages like 1 Timothy 1.10. In the next few vids, we're going to have a look at how two sides of the American slavery debate handled certain critical passages. As we'll see, when it comes to the pro-slavery exegetes, the results would indeed have been comic if in fact the living results had not been so tragic. Let's meet the four representatives of the debate, two from each side, who served as our sources for upcoming debate material.